We all know that mobile proxies are really good. They are these elusive IP addresses that websites simply cannot afford to block because if they do block them, they risk at blocking normal users as well. However, mobile proxies can be quite expensive. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a very cheap proxy alternative that can yield a very good IP address and a unique IP address for every one of your accounts. In order to properly execute this method, you need a mobile device device, preferably on Android. We have not tested iPhone, so we cannot really tell if it works reliably, but Android works very well and we recommend using that. The second thing you need is a 3 to 5 mobile internet connection, preferably from a more high-end mobile internet service provider, simply because when you opt in for more cheaper ones, you can find yourself in a situation where you will get mobile IPs that can be sometimes restricted by websites. Now, this happens very rarely in with mobile IPs. However, it does can happen. So we recommend a more expensive mobile internet service provider. In a nutshell, here's how this method works. You will be opening a hotspot on your mobile phone. Then you will be connecting this mobile internet to the device where you're managing your multiple accounts. And you will be using that IP address to connect to the first account. After that, you will be turning airplane mode on and off, which will change the IP address of the mobile phone. Eventually it will change the IP address of your device and then you can move on to the second account. Here's how it works in practice. I have my Android phone open right here and I will go ahead and first of all enable mobile data so i am connected to my internet service provider and then i will enable mobile hotspot this will essentially allow my computer here to be connected to this mobile phone and use its ip address we're gonna connect to my uh, mobile internet okay so it's connected and now i'm going to start the very first profile and right now i got an ip address that ends with 221. Now I can essentially use this IP address to log in to a Facebook account, go make actions, for example, make some purchases or even run ads. Depends on your use case. We can also go to pixelscan.net slash IP website and we can see here that the ISP of this proxy is actually Tele2, which is an internet service provider here in Estonia. And the IP address is clean, so it's not classified as a proxy. We also see that it's IP IP is blacklisted in, in one of the databases, but trust me, it's not really a big problem. It happens sometimes. So once I'm finished with this account, I went to Facebook, I did my stuff. I'm going to close this browser profile. Right after it's closed, I'm gonna take my mobile phone, enable airplane mode, disable airplane mode, ensure that mobile hotspot is still enabled, ensure that I am connected to the hotspot. Yep, I am connected and I'm going to launch the second profile. By the way, here I'm showing this method on multi-login. Multi-login essentially provides a software to manage these browser profiles separately with unique fingerprints. So we've launched our second browser profile. And as we can see here that the IP ends with 96. Now we can see that these two browser profiles had two different IP addresses. And you can repeat this process for the myriads of accounts that you have. Now you might be having a couple of concerns with this method. The first one is that you might be thinking that the IP address will always be different every time you open the same profile and that's understandable however you should also know that is totally normal behavior since this is how mobile IPs work for example when people travel from one location to another their IP addresses change simply because the way how mobile IPs are distributed is by the cell towers in different locations of the city so accessing your accounts having different IPs appear on the same account multiple times it's really isn't that bad also mobile IPs they update and renew automatically and very frequently so websites actually expect this and receive this as normal behavior another concern you might have is that it's time consuming well yes it is time consuming but it is cheap and when you scale your business when you earn a lot of money then you can go ahead and buy a real proxy service and pay a bit more for convenience by the way there's there's also a service that is not very expensive that also will allow you to create a real mobile proxy which you can use to put inside your browser profile and control your mobile IP rotation.
application remotely straight from your computer without having to do all these actions you can check the service down below in the description of this video anyway i hope this helps yes this method can be time consuming however this is a very good method if you're just starting out try it see how it works and share your experience down below in the comments if you're interested in this type of content you know don't forget to click that red subscribe button to get notified about our latest videos and make sure that you subscribe to our twitter and telegram channel well where we reveal different methods related to how you can avoid being detected when running multiple accounts thanks very much for watching Thank you.